Yo, what's up? One Pride Rise, your motherfucking boy, 313 Hitman. Coming back with a response video and the final one at that against these San Francisco Niners and the Niner Empire. Now, this is my quick response to all that bullshit they was talking about. You know, sounding overconfident as usual. Sounding super cocky as usual. Funny thing is, they had a bunch of home openers and all this shit. But I remember many of these so-called home field advantages and all that shit. Now, I just heard... No, no, let me get this right. I just heard a Niner Empire fan praising the Dallas Cowboys. Hmm, where the heck have I heard this before? Oh, yeah. That so-called Niner Empire faithful named A-Bomb. You know, the same one that uh, you kicked in a curve, Billy Badass? You know, just a reminder. You know, the same guy that you kicked in a curve that you saw on camera put on a cowboy jersey. But then even more disgusting, you even got your boy 49 cents. Saying that the Cowboys are going to blow us out because they have a great friend. That is the most despicable thing that should never come out of a 49er fan's mouth. Should never come out of a member of the Niner Empire. Never. But yeah, I heard it out your boy since mouth. Oh, badass. I'm going to get to you right now. You and since. Talking all this, oh, we can't build this and we can't build that. And that's true. And yeah, I did say the season's over. You know, whether we win or lose. I said that on many occasions. But uh, didn't y'all lose a player that went by the name of uh, Alder Smith? You know, the so-called promise player. You know that Keith T used to get busted for weed uh, because he couldn't stay off the weed. Uh. Then you lost two kneelers. There was a report all over uh, social media saying that y'all couldn't even re resign Eric Reed because he's a kneeler. A fucking kneeler. Y'all couldn't even bring him back because he's a kneeler. Fake protesting. <laughs> Since you done got it fucked. You my boy and all that, but you got it fucked up right now. Do you really want to talk about City Homeboy? At least we built something. What the fuck has San Francisco built? Other than that football team of yours. Oh yeah. A village of faggots. Try again, Sets. I know all about your shitty city. Yeah, it looks nice and all that. It looks beautiful. Yeah, y'all got the support of Silicon Valley, which is also falling apart. But need I not mention that? Y'all team... Right now, for the past three years, has gotten more coverage, way more coverage, because of a fucking famous kneeler that goes by the name of, oh, you know him, you know him since, you know him badass, you know him none of Pride 88, that's right, Colin Kaepernick. It's fucked up that Kaepernick, the kneeler, is getting way more coverage than your Italian stallion knockoff Jimmy G. That is sad. Real sad. And I'm going to go ahead and say this too. I love the fact that y'all sleeping on Matt Patricia. I love the fact that y'all think that Matt Stafford's going to throw five fucking picks again 
all of that really due to Todd Bowles. Uh, Sam Donald didn't really have that great of a game. You know, we just got tired and everything. And, um, you know, we got, he do got a shitty offensive coordinator right now, but he got a chance to redeem himself. But last time I checked out, Y'all built up that defense, and uh, y'all had to wait on Jimmy G just to solidify that so-called defense. Uh, huh, 49 cents? I believe all y'all was on this defensive bandwagon, but yet... How many times since the, uh, Colin Kaepernick, the kneeler, left y'all at the bottom of fuck y'all fucking division? Last time I checked... Ever since Colin Kaepernick left. Oh, wait a minute. He played the 2016 and looked like shit. So y'all had to wait two years to slump on the fucking knees of Bob Kraft just to get your fake ass Italian stallion. Get the fuck out of here. Y'all acting like y'all drafted Jimmy G. Motherfucker, please. He's not 16, and he's not going to look like 16 this Sunday. If anything, we're going to make him look like number 14. Oh, that's right, Jim Drunken Miller. Because we're going to make Jimmy G look like a drunken ass Miller off that Miller genuine draft. Catch my drift, Nutter Empire. <laughs> yeah. Not only we're going to shock the world on Sunday, but we're going to sing on with that L, and we're going to have the whole entire stadium doing the fucking bobblehead. It's shame! Shout out to the one proud riders out there. Not an empire. Y'all in for a fucking dog fight. I'm out.